Sharon, Reading, Pennsylvania, the great W-A-E-B. Go. Hi, uh, Mr. Levin. It's a pleasure yes. to speak to you this evening. Thank you. Uh, I was formerly employed at a hospital in the area, saw the writing on the wall, decided to go with one of the few solo practitioners that's left in our county. The hospitals have bought out most of the doctors for a reason. And I was just informed uh, that the particular health care plan that I have, they had paid a little bit toward my health care last year. Okay, you're going to have to get to your point very quickly. Uh, and, my quick, my, okay, okay my, my insurance is going to cost me $3,000 a month, and Jeez. I make $2,400 a month. I mean, this is just so incredible to me. It's just so outrageous. The government is doing this to the citizenry. No, I'm not going to have any insurance. I'm, no, it's it's just awful. Absolutely I awful. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I, I don't either. I've worked three jobs pretty much all my life. I finally got down to one. Uh, I mean, $3,000 a month, that's a heavy mortgage. It's more than my mortgage. It's double my mortgage. But I'll have zero. To, I'll actually be in the whole 600 yeah, I'll I, have I to don't, get another I, job to make zero. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is so appalling, and we get these calls all the time. And uh, you know, and then they hear these these uh, these these hacks that come on from Obama on TV and go on and on that three million people are covered and five million. No, they're not pushing people into Medicaid. Nine out of ten people who've signed up, four out of five, whatever, same thing, have uh, are Medicaid recipients. Uh, I, I mean, look what they're doing. They're destroying your life in order to subsidize somebody else. Thank you for your call. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say anymore.